There you go. There you go. There it is. There it is. Hold the racket lower though when you do that. Lower. Yeah. Like don't go all the way down on the handle. Go all the way down. All the way down on the handle. There you go. Hold like that and go, now go, do, go ahead and do it. Okay, pretty good. Nice. Good feel. Can you do this one? Wow, look at that touch. That's really good. Nice. And now, hold the rack in your continental grip, remember? Like this. Hold it all the way on the bottom, on the bottom. And now here's what I want you to do. I want you to go once like this, once like this. You flip the racket around and go, you tap it on each side of the string once. And you keep the ball up. Try it out. Look at those hands. I gotta tell you, for a complete <laughs> beginner, you're doing a good job. Yeah, you can do this at home, by the way. Okay. Just don't break anything. Okay. <laughs> but look, you can, do, you can do one more thing that's even more advanced. Okay. And that's, look at this. You go here and then go behind your back and go like this. Go behind your back and then go between your legs. You do all kinds of tricks. You know, I just messed up. Okay, a little too advanced. So just do this, just these easy ones for now, and then you advance to the next step, okay? Okay. Look at this, very nice, very nice. Okay, so we had a few lessons. We talked about the fundamentals on the forehand, backhand, the serve, the volleys. So today we're gonna to play real tennis. You know what I mean by that? No. We're gonna rally back and forth. We're gonna hit back and forth. Yay! Okay. Yes, we're gonna try. We're gonna do it very slowly at first. So I want you to come here at the yellow line, okay? It's actually a pickleball line. And the first thing I want you to do is, remember on the forehand we started right here? I want you to do that same thing. Start right there. I'm gonna feed the ball with my hand and you hit it right into my hand, okay? My hand is up here, you hit it right into my hand. Do it again. Right into my hand. Okay, go again. Remember, make sure you finish. Good, finish a little bit more with your shot. Good, and again, right into my hand. Go again. It's a beautiful job. Come again. All right, now I'm going to hit it back to you. It's going to be the same thing we just did. Good. And try to finish it. Good. Look at this. Now, do you know the ball can only bounce one time in tennis? Okay, one, one bounce rule in tennis. If it clips the net and goes over, that counts. Unless it's a serve, then you get a redo. Okay, now I missed first. I gotta tell you, we already got like a 10 ball rally within the first like two minutes. That is absolutely insane. All right, let's do it again. Let's try to get up to 20. Good. Good. Okay, go again. Okay, we gotta make a quick adjustment. Your racket face is too open, so you're in the wrong grip. Let me adjust your grip. Okay. Okay, hold it, hold the racket. There you go. Remember when we first started, we had the hand on the strings and we slid down the racket like this? Mm -hmm. That's a good way to find the grip. Yeah, go down. Yeah. yeah, go down now all the way. Go down to the grip and now grip it. So now you're somewhere what's called an Eastern grip and that's a good grip to start with. So when you hit the ball, you don't want the racket face to be too open. It's gonna go too high, okay? Good, come. Good, look at this. This is absolutely insane. I'm the one missing everything because you're too good. Okay, good. You know what I find with you that's uh, unlike other beginners? You're not afraid of the ball. A lot of beginners, when the ball comes to them, they kind of freak out, they panic. The racket starts to flail around. But with you, you are so calm and you're doing a fantastic job. I'm telling you, this is, I missed again first. I'm the one that's missing first. Again, look at this. I'm the one making all these mistakes. You're not missing anything. Good. Good. I remember what you told me in the last lesson. You remember? What exactly? Finishing. What are you? Finishing is important. Very important. And you're moving your feet too, which is great. Good. Okay. Nice, nice, 
Nice. Good. And again. Excellent. Look at these rallies. This is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe what's going on right here. This is insane. Low on the run. Good. Okay, one thing that we have to correct. So when you actually are moving that way, don't move sideways like this. It's a very awkward way to move, but you can actually turn your body and move the regular way like that. Okay. okay? All right, let's now back up a little bit. We'll go a little bit further back. Right there is good. Go in the middle of the court. And let's try to rally from there. So trophy position? That's the serve. That's on the serve. Okay. That's only on the serve and the overhead. Okay. Don't worry about that on your forehand, okay? Okay. I think you mean ready position. Ready position like this. That's what you mean? Maybe. Yeah, that's when you're waiting for the ball. It's a ready position, yeah. Good. Nice. Look at this rally. Excellent. Nice. Look at this, this is crazy. Okay, racket face opened up a little bit too much. Come again. Go. Oh yes, you got me. It's a little bit confusing because they, have, they drew pickleball lines on this court. So the tennis line is actually the white one. Well, let's try to rally from there, okay? You come right at me, make sure you finish your shot or it's gonna be tough to control it. You took that a little too early. Great shot. Great shot. Okay, don't hit too hard, okay? You want to keep the power like at 50%. Don't go too strong. Too early. You know what I mean by too early? When the racket is like pointed this way, the ball is going to go crooked. So the racket has to be straight like this, parallel to the net, if you want the ball to go straight, okay? If we can get a 10 ball rally from the service line, I'll be super happy with that. Again. Okay, when you just kind of tap, it's hard to control the ball, so make sure you finish every time, okay? Nice one. Good. Good, that's three, four. All right, again, when it, gets, when it goes high, you're very uncomfortable here, so what you can do is back up a little bit, wait for the ball to come down. Like, you don't have to be stuck and play it. You don't have to be at the mercy of the ball. You can adjust your positioning so you play the ball comfortably. Try it again. Come on. Come. Good. Good. That's three. Four. Five. Six. I'll give it to you. Here we go. Seven. Eight. Okay, you know what? I'll give it to you because it was in. It was a little bit high. Here's match point, last one. And play out the point, play it out. And you win. All right, come up to the yellow line. And now we're gonna do backhand, okay? <laughs> All right, this way, like look, your, your body facing that way. And now look at me, look at this way. Get behind the yellow line, behind the yellow line. Put both hands on the racket. Okay, grip is good. And I'm just gonna hit it back and forth with me on the backhand side. Go again. Okay, don't... Why does it feel weird? I feel like I'm not... But don't play with the wrist. Like, you go from here. You don't have to take a take, take back. You go from here to here. You just go low to high. Okay, good. You come right at me. Good. Good. Oh. Good. Good. Okay. Again. Good. Again. Good. Come, go get it. A little bit late on that. Yeah. Come. There we go. Finish a little more. Good. Okay, come again. Good job. And here, last one. Okay, feels a little bit easier now, right? Yeah. Okay, back up, not all the way to the service line, but like in between. Keep going back. Stop right there is good. Good. You take your time. You don't rush. Rushing is the number one mistake that beginners make. They panic and they rush. You take your time. You stay nice and cool. Good. Good. Again. Yes. Nice one. Come. 
Nice one. Very clean. All right, very nice. Let's now slide to the service line, okay? We'll go all the way back to the service line. But first, we got to pick up a few balls. Hey, Janae. Yeah. Remember I taught you how to pick up with your racket? Let me see. Nice. But there's even a better way. You see that, that thing right there? Uh -huh. That's a tennis basket. Now, the way you use it is not by dropping the balls in there, but by go up to the ball and now you put the basket on top of the ball and press on it. There it is. That's how you use a tennis basket. Easiest way to pick up. Okay, let's go to the service line. You already know what that is. And we're gonna rally backhands from the service line, okay? There you are, there it is. Very clean, look at this. Okay, come right at me. No worries, come on, it happens sometimes. Very clean, get that racket up every time, good. Very clean, up a little bit. Good adjustment steps there, nice, that's four in a row. Five, I'll give it to you, watch that open racket face though. When I start counting, does that put pressure on you? It does, but I kinda like it. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing it, okay? You need to start dealing with pressure in tennis. Good, I'll give that one to you, one, two, come, come, come. Nice get, three, four, here's five, wait on the ball a little bit longer, good, six, seven, eight, okay, that was a really bad feed, here we go, one, two, okay, don't get rushed, okay, don't panic. I'm not gonna give that one to you. I'm not gonna count that. That's two. Come again. One. Two. Get up, 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 up. Three. Four. Five, back up. I'll give it to you, it's insane rally. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, my, my mistake doesn't count. You got eight. Nine. Keep going, 10, 11, 12, I'll give it to you, keep going, 13, 14, 15, I'll give it to you again, 16, it's a little too high, close the racket face, 17, 18, 19, go, 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 and you got 19 in a row, that's incredible, really good. What do you think about tennis? This is real tennis now. You're playing back and forth. What do you think? You like it? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, right? Yes. Okay, but here comes the challenging part that when you play with someone, it's not going to be like only backhands or only forehands. It's going to be everything. So let's try one rally where you don't know where it's going to come. It could be a forehand. It could be a backhand. You don't know. Okay. And you're going to have to do something which is called the grip change. Okay. Remember your forehand grip, right? It's more on this side, right? Now you can't hit a backhand like this because the racket face is going to be open. So you have to turn the hand like this. Open up and go here. The way you're going to do that is just turn with your left hand. So this is your forehand grip. You turn with your left hand until you find the continental grip. Let me see you do that, okay? Turn the racket with your left hand up here at the throat. Up here at the throat. Hold it there. And I'll open up the hand. That's forehand. Now go into backhand. Okay. Forehand again. And backhand. Turn the backhand, there you go. You're gonna have to do that. And you don't have to lift this hand up off the racket because you won't be able to look down on your racket to change your grip. You wanna be looking at the ball, right? So you have to do this blindly. So it's good to feel the actual grip on your hand so you know where you're at. Okay. See, I'm doing it forehand, backhand, you see? I'm not looking down, I'm doing it by feel. Here. Forehand. Okay, look at me, look at me. And I'll do it. Forehand. Turn it. Backhand. No, no, no. Turn the actual racket, I'll do it for you. Okay, forehand. forehand, open your hand a little bit, your left hand. No, no, let go of the left hand, I'll do it for you. Here, grip the racket, forehand grip, open your hand a little bit, backhand. backhand. Open up a little bit, forehand. forehand. Open up a little bit, backhand. Now do it yourself. Turn the actual racket, forehand. don't turn your hand around, okay. but turn the racket, go ahead. Forehand, okay. backhand. Keep going. Forehand, okay. backhand. Good, again. Forehand. Again. Backhand. You look at me. Go again. Forehand. Okay. Backhand. Good. One more time. 
four hands. And last one. Back. All right, we're ready to rally. Here we Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're going to try to do one rally after 10 where you don't know where it's going to come, okay? Okay, don't play with the wrist. Remember, you start here and bring the entire arm up. And go. Come right at me, hit it straight, come on. Now, the thing that you're doing now where you're losing a lot of control, you're taking your racket too far back, okay? You start here, that's the easiest way to start, to get a feel of the contact, to get a feel for the timing. It's that you can imagine the contact much better when your racket's already around the contact. Good, one, two. It's too much power, too much wrist movement, okay? Remember, don't slap the ball with your wrist. You want to gently caress the ball and bring the entire arm up so that the elbow points forward. Ready position, and come. All right, I'll give it to you anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, my mistake doesn't count. You got, still got six. Here we go, ready position. Seven. Eight, nine, match point, 10, you did it. Awesome job. 10 in a row is no joke, but you see how hard it is to not know where it's gonna go because you have to change the grip and all that. Yes. So that's gonna be the next step is getting used to the grip change. And we're gonna slowly progress to the baseline where we're actually gonna be rallying from the baseline. But for now, we'll continue to rally from the surface line. But again, I have to say for a beginner, it's incredible how you're able to rally. Like when we were just doing one shot at a time, we could have gone up to like 30, 40, 50. That's how easy it was for you. So again, you're progressing really fast. You're doing a great job. We'll keep going.